Hi guys, and welcome to Disney Day. It's a brand new day. Up. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I'm Corey. And welcome to Disney Day One. We have a full Magic Kingdom this morning. We are up. We are excited. We are ready for the day. We mm -hmm. woke up at what? 6? 6.45 is when I set the alarm. Yeah, and then we ended up buying Genie. We bought, uh, we're trying to figure out where to go for the TTC. Oh, perfect. Oh, this makes sense. We bought Genie Plus this morning. We bought Standby Skipper this morning. And we are prioritizing Fantasyland this morning. It is 8.30, early park entry starts now. But we ended up like relaxing a little bit. I didn't sleep great last night, did you? I slept fine. I just found myself hot, which was weird. Because yeah. like the AC was at 68 and I'm usually comfy in yeah. that. I don't know. So it was, yeah, a little bit weird. I didn't sleep like 100% all that great. So either way, we are on our way to the TTC now to head into Magic Kingdom for the morning. We're so excited. We slept in a little bit because like I said, I didn't sleep super great. Mm -hmm. But if you are new and excited and ready for a full blown Magic Kingdom day and resort day, we're staying at the Poly. If you didn't see our other vlog, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of our upcoming Disney vlogs. We're walking and vlogging this morning because we're trying to get into the parks because I ended up waking up, ate breakfast, and then went like, I wasn't like asleep asleep, but my body was resting oh, yeah, for like fun. 45 minutes this morning. Yeah. And it was just really, really nice. So we've got some lines here at the TTC, but let's head in to Magic Kingdom. It took us 15 minutes to get from the Polynesian to here, like when we were walking and got in line at the TTC. We're about to see the castle for the first time. I'm feeling a little emotional for some reason. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not emotional yet, but I'm no? sure I'll get there. I feel like for some reason I just am right now. I don't know. I don't want to like hit anyone with my... I think I am a little emotional. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like we've, we've had just like such a crazy two months that like being here just feels like really surreal and I just feel very happy because the last two months have been just chaotic. So I just feel, oh, I just feel so happy. This is, you know what I mean? I just, I don't know. Uh, all right, well, this is ridiculous. See that, that kid's got it right. Screaming his lungs out. Yeah, he's like, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it going on right. All right, well, we are going to, uh, what are we gonna do, rope drop Peter Pan? It's, uh, oh yeah, we can yeah, rope drop Peter Pan, yeah. yeah. So we're going to walk a little bit of Main Street. We're gonna rope drop Peter Pan, and it is just, oh, I just love a Main Street USA morning. And we're not gonna be able to get coffee this morning because no. we're gonna rope drop some rides. Yeah. But let's go rope drop some rides. I just, oh, Main Street in the morning is my fave. Hello, Minnie and Mickey! Yes! Today is going to be the best day. So cute. Uh, this is like one of my favorite little things oh, no. is the like show. Alright, so I want to share a quick little hidden trick. If you are either staying on Disney property and you do not get into early park entry right at time that you should, basically they just like rope drop, they let everybody in. As you're walking into the fantasy land where they rope drop, right when you get to, what's it called? Um, the Mirabelle's like, like meet, and greet, meet and greet, yeah. take a left and you'll walk up this entire path where we had zero people, a beautiful view of the castle, and you get let out right into 
the center of Fantasyland where Sir Mickey's is, and it's quiet. You have a beautiful view of the castle because we want to rope drop Peter Pan, not Mine Train. Yeah, so because everyone's going for Mine everyone's Train. Everyone's going for Mine Train. Here's what we're walking into. Whereas, if you were to go the other direction, there's a million, zillion people. Right over here, there's literally nobody. It's nine o'clock and you enter Fantasyland from the side, and, and it's all empty, and it's all beautiful. Carousel's here, and then we're going over there to Peter Pan. We just finished up on our rides this morning and we just look at your big smile. We smile at four. So I big. Love the oh, I didn't say that we had that, but oh. <laughs> we just got a cinnamon roll. We just finished up on Winnie the Pooh. And we've never tried the cinnamon roll from Gaston's Tavern. This thing is huge. Corey loves a cinnamon roll. You give it a try because I feel like Do you're you gonna have like a fork it. Or a knife? No, I would just try to pull it just to at least start. And then I also got a chocolate milk because I feel like that would be very refreshing. So we're giving the cinnamon roll a try. There you go. I think it's huge. I should have got napkins, but I didn't even think about it. See a little sweet? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You guys, you will never guess what food item we just purchased. Brianna's favorite popcorn bucket. And look at how sweet. Let me pull over. Look at how sweet the new bucket is. It's got Moana, the aliens, Epcot, it's like all the parks. And it has cute Mickey. Oh, Tiana's on. It. Yeah, Tiana. Love it. And then that's just the end. But isn't it so cute? Magic Kingdom. I'm looking for the Tree of Life. Oh, uh, 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 Hollywood you Studios, it. Epcot. You missed it. it's, up. it's over here. Where? Keep going. Oh, in the corner. I didn't even see it. So we've got a nice, and I just like smelled it. We were walking by, and I was like, all right, it smells so good. It smells so fresh. If it actually is fresh, let's get it. Because I like to get and the popcorn when it's like coming out. It was in the process of out. popping. We're yeah. like, absolutely. I was like, yeah, I need to have that. So now, what do we just do? Mermaid? We did mermaid. Now we're on our way to Argamy Hardy's Yo-Ho. Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice. We should start a nice little drink for that. <coughs> Can that I have the Disney. water? Oh, dear. Brown is live. This is a big piece. That was stuck in my throat. I'll make you some popcorn. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm choking. Let me put more popcorn in my mouth to help save me. So good. So, okay. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot my pin traders today. And I really did want a pin trade, so we're gonna get either a mystery box or some sort of pins in the Frontierland trading post so that I can do a little bit of pin trading. Only like one or two because I have my bag at home. I just didn't bring them in this morning, but I like to pin trade at Magic Kingdom. So, we're enjoying this. I've got a water so I don't die, and we're gonna popcorn and walk. I realized that I forgot my pins at home to do pin trading with, but I wanted to pin trade this morning for a little bit, and I realized I didn't have any. So, I wanted to get pins that I really don't care about, so I got the Wreck-It Ralph Mystery Box collection, so we're just gonna rip it open. I think if I got any of them and would wanna keep them, like Vanellope Von Schweetz is really cute, but I also don't like need it, you know what I mean? So I'll open a bag and you open a bag. Here you go, that one. This is recycled. or propped up on a recycling bin, or can, whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh dear. Oh jeez. Got it. You got yours? All right, let's open yours. And then you can rip this one, because I can't get it. And the verdict is in. And it is? Whoever this person Whoever is. Whoever this lady is. Perfect, and we're gonna trade that one. And, okay, I can't open this. That one I'll put in my bag because we're gonna do pin trading. And then the next one. That's why they invented teeth. 
yeah, don't show Caitlin. Caitlin is. And then. Where about this person? This person, yay! And then they had these at the counter, which were $9.99, and they were just these individual little blind bags. So we're gonna see what we got, and we got. Oh, oh he's kind of cute. Cheshire Cat. So we're gonna trade all three of those because I don't want them. I just wanted the actual pins to do some trading. And then we have a Pirates Lightning Lane that starts in the next like five or ten minutes. So no, it actually starts now. And wasn't 55. it at ten fifty-five? Oh, I thought it's it was fifty-five. Already. No, fifty-one. So, sorry. so we are gonna go and do a little bit of pin trading, walking around. I'm gonna go back into the Frontierland trading post on their pin board and see what they have. And then we're gonna ride Pirates. But three. Oh, I almost dropped it. Three nice new little pins to trade, and uh, it'll make someone. Very, actually I put them in my pocket. I was gonna say, cause I have to take them out. But all my pins that I will trade will make someone very, very happy. Oh, copy and me. Copycat. So we just went to, what did we just do? We just rode Pirates. I wanted to enjoy it instead of vlogging it. We're gonna vlog it and like video it another day on the trip. But I just went to Frontier Trading Post, which is right behind me to see if I could trade any more pins. I love going in there just in and out a ton of times. Cara's like, eh, I don't really feel like pin, like pin trading. I'll wait outside. And I was like, okay. So I walk over and here he is. He just you left the popcorn bucket. You left the popcorn bucket. But I walked over. I I walked over and he said that he had never done the like shoot an arcade. So he wanted to do it. So we were just over here. Now we're on our way to Haunted Mansion. But did you do you score? How do you, what is that exactly? No, you just shoot the the target. Back and, up a little. I'm trying to get you in the sorry. thing. There you go. You just shoot the target and it reacts. To you don't like accumulate points or anything? I, it must have been where you used to have to put coins in. Day, I'm sure yeah, was, like yeah. putting coins in it. Yeah. All right, so we decided to go with Pecos Bill for lunch. Hello, mister, over there. Corey ended up going for the, this was the pork carnitas fajita bowl, yep. right? I think just yep. the bowl. And then I got a side of rice to go with my beef nachos that has the beef and the queso on it. And then we always just get, it comes on the side, but tomatoes and lettuce. I asked for extra lettuce, so that's probably why I got double. Corey's got his, I got a root beer, Corey got a Diet Coke, and we're gonna split them. And then we're probably gonna head back to the where? Resort to the resort, yes, yeah, swimming, but I think we're gonna stop at the Emporium we'll the first. Emporium on the way also, we got a lot of leaves falling on our food, so, let's so yeah, let's start eating. <laughs> we just finished up lunch at Pecos Bill. I've got my nice soda for a walk. Corey finished up his. My nice soda has been done. Has been done and dusted. That that was not gonna last. We Did we say that we did the ferry boat? We did the, the big, ferry boat. Or is that what it's called? Liberty the, Bell. The Liberty Bell? We'd never done that before. We were walking to our lightning lane for Haunted Mansion. And the, we had 10 minutes yeah, to kill. Yeah, we had like 10 minutes to kill. And I was like, oh, what are we gonna do? Like, we could, we'll could, we just wait outside and scan in five minutes early. And then we were walking by and I was like, oh, so the under the boat? We've never done the boat. We said last time we were here we would do it. What that a was, phenomenal 20 minutes. That was a highlight. highlight. Stood on the top deck and we got to see everything. It's just like a it's big. It's such a cool perspective just yeah. to see like the Frontierland Avenue here. You get to see big thunder, the full which is thing so of Big cool. Thunder. They have like little like set up, they have like a guy fishing. Mm -hmm. They have like a Native American cop, uh, like camping What's site. What's so cute. Yeah. It was really, really, really cute. Cool. Yeah. So that was nice. Finish up at Pecos, delicious, fabulous, awesome. You know, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Like when we went before. Oh, I love the ball. I feel like when we went the last time or the previous time before, it was like a miss. But I feel like this time it was good. So I was glad about that. It is now 12.55, close to one o'clock. We're gonna walk through the Emporium. We might do a little bit of shopping and then we're headed back to the Poly to do some swimming because the sun's poking out and the clouds are burning off and we wanna spend the afternoon at the pool because yep. it's nice and warm. And tomorrow is gonna be a little bit of a cooler day so we know that we'll be able to like enjoy the pool today. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the Emporium. We'll vlog around there, but wanted to just do a check-in of what was what was happening and I've completely done and dusted that popcorn bucket. It is basically at the bare minimum. And oh, maybe I'll get a nice little Dole Whip at the Poly while I'm sitting at the pool. Ooh, Can you imagine you a Dole Whip at the pool? That's, That's like a win. That is a win. All right, let's ride. <laughs> Balloon vibes are always high. 
So pretty, so cute. Hello, and a quick vlog or check-in. We're at the pool. I left my camera in the room because I just really didn't feel like bringing it. We wanted to kind of chill, relax, and enjoy the pool. Corey filled our mugs, and it's a perfect little pool day. I also think I want, can I make a virgin pina colada? I just don't think I drinking, no but I idea. want the pina colada part of it. If I can ask. You know, I also, new bathing suit, Abercrombie, love it. You're a same old Everyone's tank. Everyone's used to this tank and, this and, this, shorts, and those so. shorts. Yeah, so either way. Cheers, happy pool afternoon. Hello everyone. Hi, made it back to Magic Kingdom after oh, yeah. what? Like five, six hours at the pool? It was not six hours at the pool. We got there at, oh, well, sorry, sorry, not six, like five. <laughs> yeah, we got there at 1.30 and we left at 5.45. So that's four like hours. Four, yeah, four and a half hours. We had like the best time at the pool. It was so it was nice, nice to just relax and enjoy, chill out. And the weather was yeah. great. We're supposed to have like not as hot of weather today as we are getting in the next few days. So we were like, you know what? We're gonna sit, we're gonna relax, we're gonna enjoy as much of the hot weather as we can because we're not gonna probably have as much hot weather coming. But we are on our way to Tomorrowland for Space, Space Mountain. Mountain. Buzz Lightyear, and then we're gonna grab dinner, I think, at Cosmic Rays. Rays. Probably. Yeah, just a quick dinner. Fireworks are at 8.30, and then Corey's got Tron, and Jungle Cruise, and Mine Train, we've Mine got train. them all. We've got them all. We've got all the rides, a fun evening, and Magic Kingdom isn't close till 11. Until 11, we got so plenty of time. So we are time. headed out now to Murray Space Mountain. Oh, I have to adjust our buzz thing. Yes. If I don't forget. I thought you wanted to do that when we were in space. Oh yeah, I have nine minutes to adjust yeah. it. We're trying to get it as close to eight o'clock as we can. All right, so off to tomorrow. Woo. Oh, the beautiful beautiful sounds of Tomorrowland. Just my absolute favorite. Can we just hear the galactic music? Tomorrowland's also my favorite like at night. Yeah, it is so like, fun at night. Dark, I love it. Also, I was so upset. I was saying to Corey, we were a little bit late coming into Magic Kingdom and I flipped our entire hotel room upside down looking for my little bag of my pin traders like all the pins that i trade with i have so many in there i've been collecting them forever i was so excited to pin trade on this trip and i literally cannot find that little zipper bag anywhere i know that i brought it with me because literally in the vlog i rewatched the clip of my packing truck with me the little bag is on the bed so now i need to try to find it and i can't and I was like, I felt really bad because Corey was so excited to come into the parks and we spent like an additional 15 minutes in the room looking for it. My mom just turned my room at home upside down. She couldn't find it. So we'll report back tomorrow in the next vlog if I find the pin bag because that's all I was so excited to do was vlog, or not vlog, was so excited to pin trade and now I need to find the bag. So now we're up Space Mountain. Woo! First. Roller coaster of the trip, and we are ready. Space Mountain, we're coming for you. Space Mountain! Ready for the pit? My date for this evening, having her first sip of DC in how long? Like a month. How was She's it? Good. How was she is good. We're at Cosmic Rays, getting some quick din. I did the uh, spicy fried chicken sandwich. Brian did the uh, kids meal chicken tender with a side of apple spices, a clementine, and a side of that delicious cosmic rays fake crab. Yeah, well I think cheese. this is like more of a Velveeta style, but I actually did two kids meals. So I did a kids chicken tender meal with fries and apple slices, and then a kids macaroni and cheese meal with fries and a clementine. So like this is one, and like this is one. But my tip is, if you ever get a kids meal and you're like, oh I wanna get double the fries, don't because they're just gonna get still give you I think one of these because anyway. look at my adult meal and it's just all on the side, side here why it feels though guaranteed that there's more in that than that so we'll split but we're going to enjoy some cosmic rays and then we have happily ever after in like an hour under an hour 8 30 it starts and it's 7 35 now and there's we'll, like no one in we'll eat and go right park now. yeah we'll go park for something maybe we'll get like a little ice cream or something and yeah. park for the fireworks so we just finished up at I almost just said Pecos Bill. Cosmic race for dinner. Pico and, race. Yeah, Pico race. And we just got a spot for the fireworks. I'm going to turn the camera. We're quite literally directly in front, in front of the front. castle. We've never seen the projections as close, so I think it'll be cool. So let me show you. So here is the fireworks viewing spot. I'm not sure if we're going to see like as many fireworks, but I feel like it's going to be cool to see the projections because we've never seen it before. So cue happily ever after. Before we cue happily ever after, Corey turned around and goes, oh, I just love looking at Main Street USA like this. And isn't it so pretty all lit up? I feel like it's oh, gorgeous.
it is after, happily ever after. I did in fact cry a little bit, got watery eyed. I don't know, just something about ha happily ever after always gets me for some reason. And whenever I watch Fantasmic, the Frozen segment always gets me, it makes me cry. But did a little bit of shopping. I got two really cute pins, and then I also got this beige Mickey hat with like a navy blue Mickey or a black Mickey on it. Perfect, minimal, just my style. And then I also picked up two of like the mystery blind bag pins so that I could do a little bit of trading. I don't know if Corey is vlogging, but Corey went to ride Tron. I am not riding too many like, Tron normally makes me like a little bit, I'm gonna pull over so I'm not in anyone's way, but Tron normally makes me a little bit like iffy anyway. So I was like, you know what? We'll buy it, you skip the line. I don't really feel like riding Tron this trip, honestly. Makes me a little motion sickness sometimes. Cosmic Rewind does a little bit, like when I'm going around the Milky Way, but other than that, it doesn't. So, I did just trade and I got a cute little Pluto, and then this one we need to go trade now. So let's go into the Philhar Magic gift store. They always have a pin board. We'll go to Sir Mickey's and see if they have a pin board, and let's see if we can trade this pin. Oh my God, that one is so cute. I think that one's definitely gonna come home with me. Okay, he is quite literally perfect. I think I'm gonna start a Donald and Goofy collection. So I feel like he is just so perfect to put with my collection. All right, everyone, this one's new. Brianna allowed me to get my own segment, so thank you, Brianna. Um, so we just finished up at Jungle Cruise, which honestly is one of my favorites. I find the dad jokes absolutely pure, hilarious, absolutely love it. But um, I have separated myself from Brianna right now because she told me to go kick rocks. Totally kidding. Um, but no, I am going to ride Tron now. Tron's not Brianna's favorite in the tummy area, so but she so graciously lets me go do it myself. So I'm going to go ahead and at least show some clips around of Tron and let's go have some fun. Just finished up with Tron. It is so good. I wish there was less like stop and go and it was more consistent a little bit personally, but it's a good ride. It's intense. It's fast. There we go. And it's fun just being able to come through the dome here. I love that. Um, so I just texted Brianna asking where she wants to meet. Um, and so I'm heading to her now. We are in our spot and that is because it is the end of another vlog. We mm -hmm. had a wonderful evening. We ended up walking the Emporium, got a few little goodies and I did nice pin trading and the saga has ended because I opened up my carry-on and there was my pin pouch sitting right on top of my carry-on. I just knew there was no way that I'd forgot it at home. Like I knew I had it and I'm just, I'm glad that I actually have it. I was praying you had it because if yeah. you didn't have it, I was nervous of what I was They're just to expensive to do all at once and I have like 20 pins in there to trade so it's like the idea of having to buy yeah. so many now when I wasn't really like planning on that would have yeah, just been not super that, great. Yeah. But I'm glad I found it. We're gonna do our three favorites of the day. I think I'm ready. Do you wanna go first or do you want me to go first? You can go first. Okay, first favorite of the day, no particular order, watching Happily Ever After mm. closer to the castle. We've just never seen the projections that close yeah. and it was just really, really beautiful to get a really good spot early on so I would say that. My second favorite of the day was our pool afternoon. We spent like three and a half, four and a half hours at the pool. It was lovely, the sun was hot. We both got some redness and some color as you can see from my beautiful little fried green tomato mm -hmm. or fried red tomato. Oh, green. Yeah, green. We're both absolutely <laughs> cooked. We've been yawning the whole way home. And I would say my third favorite of the day was the sleep you're about to receive. Actually, you know what? This is gonna sound really silly. My third favorite thing of the day was taking the monorail to and from the parks. Nice. Like I've never taken a monorail like to and from the park because we're staying at the poly. So having that was just mm -hmm. really an enjoyable, mm -hmm. fun little time. So mm -hmm. where were your three favorites of the day? My three favorites were doing the monorail. I yep. thought that was extremely fun. Pool, not to be a repetitive person here, but that yeah. was just like a very relaxing time. Not to knock happily ever after, but I love the Jungle Cruise. I just love the Jungle Cruise. You it's do? It's such a it's your favorite. favorite You've always here. said that if you were to be a cast member, if at I were to Disney, be a cast member, I want to be a, a Jungle, jungle skipper. Cruise skipper. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Easily. Well, we are closing out the vlog. Make sure if you have not already to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming Disney vlogs. Tomorrow we are headed out to Epcot for a full day. We plan on probably sleeping in the morning because we are absolutely beaten like to and what we mean by sleep in the morning literally sleep till like 
7. 7, 7 30. <laughs> no, honestly, I might even sleep longer than that because we have a full Epcot day tomorrow plus Epcot evening hours. So, like, to get everything done in Epcot won't take us that long. Not that it won't, but like, we, it's not warm enough to do like a pool afternoon probably tomorrow. So, the idea yeah. of being in the parks, it'll be like a full, fuller day. So, with that being said, thanks so much for being here and we will see you guys tomorrow at Epcot. Yeah. It's a brand new day.